Okay, today I'm going to go over how to change a tool, put a tool in there, and insert the tool into the machine control so you can start setting it up. This is again the OSP P300M control for the Kuma. As you can see here, I'm going to open the door. There's a tool in the spindle. You go down here to tool page. The tool in the spindle is where it says actual tool number, tool number eight. Well, we're gonna put tool number 12 in this spindle. Don't get confused by the pot number here. That's the number, the tool pair itself. These are the tool numbers. This is where you wanna go search for tool. Tool two, tool seven, tool seven, and tool five. Well, besides the point, there's no tool 12 in this whole tool number list. So the first thing you're gonna do is search to see if there's a tool that's taking the tool 12 spot, which there isn't. You can scroll down there using the scrolling cursor key, with the arrow cursor key. So I saw that there's no tool 12 in the whole list. So I'm going to empty this pot and then register the tool into the system. So there's a, first of all, you got to shut the door. There's a G code that you can use in the Sakuma to empty the. So to go ahead and do the tool change, you have to go here to MDI mode. As you see up there in the top left, it's gonna say MDI operation, so you know where you're at. And then you're gonna type in code G111 or G100. You're gonna see it in input, but to actually activate the code, you're gonna have to press enter or the right key button and you'll see it in buffer mode down there. Now go ahead and press green button, cycle start. And you see the tool change happen. And it'll call an empty tool in the pot. So if I go to the tool page over here, you'll see now the active tool number is none or N-O-N. You now have an empty tool in the spindle, and the machine knows that. So once you do that, you want to register a tool, you go to active tool number. And if you have already a lot of tools in the system registered in the system, you don't have to register the tool, but you can insert the tool. But as you can see, it's grayed out. I can't select it. That's because I'm still in MDI mode. I must go to hand mode or manual mode to be able to insert or register the tool. So once this is highlighted, make sure this is highlighted in blue, you can insert the tool into the spindle. So I'll just go ahead and press F1, insert tool. Search for the tool number you, you desire to put in the, sp the spindle, which is tool 12 in my case. Go over here and press F7. Okay. Give us some time to think. We have a large tool library, so it takes a couple seconds to think. Now, the tool is in there. Tool 12. On the right side, you will see tool 12. And in this case, the tool name does not match what the tool, the tool we're going to put in there. So the first thing I do is change the tool name. To do that, you select tool name. Highlight in blue, select F1, set, and then type in what you want to name the tool. I'm going to put a 3 8 drill in there. After you type it in, don't press set again, press the right key or the enter key. As you see, there's a 3 8 drill. And now you have the tool in there. You register tool 12 and the active tool number spindle and it's in there. You're ready to touch off the tool and then you're ready to go.